This world we live in is amazing, and we are rapidly transitioning into a future that will be radically different from what we know today. I was born in the year 1992, and when I was a kid, there were two events that fundamentally shaped who I am today. The first happened when my parents came home with a desktop home computer and a dial-up AOL internet connection. As an only child with a big imagination, gaining access to the internet was the ultimate tool. My reality was now not just limited by my imagination, but my imagination plus what I could Google search. <laughs> this in turn gave me the ultimate meta skill, learning how to learn. Now when the second event was gonna happen, I was so excited. My parents were taking me to Disney World. <laughs> and it was here where I was able to experience virtual reality for the first time. You see, they just opened up their arcade of the future, Disney Quest. And at Disney Quest, there was this ride called Cyberspace Mountain. And on this ride, Bill Nye the Science Guy would teach us how to build a roller coaster on a computer. After designing this roller coaster, we would get in this weird looking gyroscope machine that would twist, turn, and flip according to the roller coaster that we just built, giving us an immersive, motion tracked, virtual reality experience. Now as a kid who was just learning about video games, I thought this was the coolest, most exciting thing ever. And I vividly recall writing it over and over and over again until they kicked me out of the arcade for the night. <laughs> Cyberspace Mountain showed me what was possible with technology. And this, coupled with the internet, led me to pursue a creative path in life. First pursuing filmmaking, and then entrepreneurship, and now virtual reality development. I'm at a point in my life where I feel like I'm creating similar experiences as those I first saw at Cyberspace Mountain as a kid, but it's a little different now. You see, instead of teams of engineers and large budgets needing to create these experiences, I can develop apps and games on my computer, in my bedroom, in my spare time. And instead of people needing to be lucky enough to travel to Disney World to experience this, I can deploy my apps to every smartphone and computer on the planet instantly. I think this is amazing, but it's about to get even cooler. Currently, smartphones are great and can do a lot, but they're rather dumb at understanding the three-dimensional space and how they move through it. This is about to change. For the past year, I've been actively developing for an experimental mobile device called the Google Project Tango tablet. This device combines sensors with computer software algorithms to use computer vision to see the world how we can see it. Think about your brain's amazing ability to understand motion. Right now, where you're sitting, you have enormous perspective of the space you're in. You could estimate the size of the room. You could estimate your position in the room. You could even recall and backtrace your previous motion, say, if you forgot your keys or wallet earlier in the day. Smartphones are not capable of this yet. The Project Tango demonstrates that this technology is possible and is coming to smartphones. And it will enrich our lives, changing the way we think about these magical supercomputers in our pockets. Giving computers the ability to see like we can will allow them to create detailed maps of the environment, solving directions and enriching industries that could benefit from creating 3D models. And for me, for me as a game developer, this is huge. This is, as it allows me to design video games, 
outside of the confines of the screen and in the physical space, similar to how we would play tag or hide and go seek as a kid. Using this technology, I was able to recreate the cyberspace mountain experience that I first had at Disney Quest in an app called the Roller Coaster Simulator. In this app, users with a motion tracked enabled device can draw a roller coaster simply by moving through the space. They can then intuitively design a roller coaster. They could then strap on a head mount display <laughs> and ride that roller coaster that they just built in an immersive, motion tracked, virtual reality experience. For me, being able to develop this truly allowed me to go full circle, taking advantage of the rapid accelerating change that happened in my lifetime to realize and build my childhood dreams. You see, as a kid, my reality and imagination was just that. It was limited. But now, now as a developer, the opportunities are huge, and they're getting even bigger by the day. Now when I have an idea or concept, I Google search it, just like I did as a kid. But now, this idea, backed up by the internet, more often than not, is rooted in reality and actually possible. This is thanks to the rapid accelerating change that happened in my lifetime. And this idea, this idea is not just limited to my world, the past, or the present. This is the idea that's actively shaping the future for all of us. Transitioning technology into an entity that has empathy for us and can understand and solve our biggest problems. This idea tech will transform the future into a world where technology will allow us all to do more and to do things that are hard to imagine today. The future is exciting and unpredictable. I encourage you to go out and embrace it, just like your inner child would. Thank you. Thank you, Anne.